This is a PC that has been sought after by overclockers, appreciated by content creators, and drooled over by your average squeaker in the gaming scene. I'm talking about liquid cooling. This is the PC. Well, the current status of it anyway. Oh, wait, where are the wires? Just kidding, there are no wires. This is a BTF build. It just came out. Normally, you would have wires on this side, and up top, you would have some CPU wires. But in this case, all the wires are in the back of the motherboard in the back of the PC. Thanks, Tony, for that intro. But the PC is actually finished now. We ran all the tubing, filled it with liquid, so it's time to turn this PC on. Whoa. So while the star of the show is the custom liquid cooling, the MVP is actually this direct dye CPU water block from Supercool. You need a direct dye CPU water block in order to properly cool that i9-1400KS. So what is direct dye? Well, let's get right into it. We need to delid the processor in order to proceed. Essentially, we're removing the top cover from the CPU <laughs> We're using liquid metal as a thermal compound to replace the thermal paste and mounting this water block directly on top of it. Once the water block's installed, the rest of the PC can be built as a regular water cooling loop. We have soft tubing, we got two radiators, and we got a beautiful 200 millimeter reservoir from Heat Killer that barely fits. Another product from Watercool is this Heat Killer 5 water block for the GPU. This isn't a BTF specific water block. So we had to put duct tape over the port. It looks good. Doesn't look bad. How'd we do? <laughs> so we're here at the test bench. We have a dedicated streaming PC here to capture our gameplay and we're using the 4K X to be able to capture 4K 60 gameplay. And then we have our beautiful PC hooked up on our 4K OLED right here to game on. We definitely want to overclock the processor and the graphics card to get the best performance. Now after going through all the bio settings and running a couple stress tests, I'm not able to overclock the processor any more than stock. So at stock in gaming, the CPU is boosting at 5.9 gigahertz. The goal was six gigahertz all core, but I don't think I'm able to get that stable. It might be a limitation of the BTF motherboard. I mean, the BTF motherboard probably can't handle six gigahertz all core. It could also just be the luck of the draw with the chip. I'm gonna keep it on stock. It's running at 5.9 gigahertz, which is beautiful. It's still a lot better than a regular 1400K. And it's also running really cool around 60 degrees. But the GPU, I can definitely put about 250 megahertz extra onto the GPU. So at stock, we're about 2,700 megahertz. And with the overclock, we're pushing almost 3,000 megahertz. We should see some benefits to the overclock. In Kingdom Hearts 3, we definitely saw an increase in performance with an overclock. The lowest FPS we saw without the overclock was an average of 201.7 FPS. The lowest FPS we saw with the overclock was 221.3 FPS. The highest FPS we saw without the overclock was an average of 212 FPS. The highest FPS we saw with the overclock was 226 FPS. So we're seeing an average of about 12 FPS increase with the overclock. I definitely say it's worth it, especially for 4K single player games. So for Call of Duty, we're definitely seeing an increase as well. The top four tests are with the overclock and the bottom four are without. The lowest FPS we saw without the overclock was an average of 185 FPS. And the lowest we saw with the overclock was 197. The highest amount we saw without the overclock was 195. And the highest amount we saw with the overclock was 208. So that's the build. This is the first 4090 BTF liquid cool build that I'm aware of. And boy, was it fantastic. While it was upsetting that I couldn't get six gigahertz all core on the CPU, I still was very, very happy with how much I could have overclocked the graphics card. So the build was still performing incredibly well on games like Kingdom Hearts 3 and Call of Duty. So yeah, the build, I'm very happy with the final product. So thank you all so much for watching. Please leave a comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned for more content. We'll see you guys later.